let's go in the labyrinth. That's what we're all about, right? Guardian Orc. Master, they's here. Uno, dos, tres. There seem to be three of them. I didn't mean to do this accent for a character who's going to be using Spanish. I apologize. Money come with the ones you've met. B is a mystical and superior number. It's ancient times to signify a new beginning. Even if each of you is powerless, you'll be able to overcome many difficulties with a combined effort. But you will need trust for that. I'll use air quotes because I'm a really sarcastic person. Without trust, even the strong won't stand a chance to live. It's not something you can develop overnight. Only time and hardships together can be trust among you. Now, the sword will stop talking. See, it looks piercingly, fixedly at your party with his piercing blue eyes as if he was trying to search for something. Alright, the labyrinth is ready for you. Be waiting ahead inside. Don't you dare die before you reach me. Ghost! Hehe, <laughs> eyes, Casta. Eyes be waiting for you. Eyes, see you, see you later. Eyes is a completely different franchise than this. And, the, and it's also pronounced P's. What a strange guy. There shouldn't be any qualifications needed to get inside the labyrinth. True. There are no qualifications required to get inside. But there is sort of the matter of if you don't if you don't know what you're doing, you go inside and you don't walk out. The president's the queen is encouraging people to go there. In any case, he doesn't seem like a bad fella. It may turn out to be fun after all. There's some truth in what he said. We're going to have to enter the labyrinth anyway. Why don't we just hear about for a while? Mm, sure, I guess. All right. Okay. Let's get going. All right. So, you guys, see what I'm doing with right analog stick. You kind of let you look around in front of you. This is a 3D rendered environment. Left analog stick. Rolls the map around the screen. And D pad moves you around. Now, move forward. It, what it does not do, it does not automatically pop you to show what's in front of you. And unlike other Wizardry games, you can actually see this is the reason why the, the right stick looking around is important. See monsters and rooms and areas in front of you sort of ghosts. And they can go through doors.
everyone just leveled up. So that's pretty good. Damn it, that damn hobbit. Shit, I'm gonna strangle him. Did the sword that kill anything? It's just a plain sword. Well, sword, plain swords can kill most things unless they're somehow magically enchanted creatures. So, that's not entirely a lie? Kobolds are shouting at each other in the distance. What are we gonna do? We used all her money. This Virgo's gonna kill us. Kobolds are approaching you. What are you looking at? Out of my way. Or else we'll eat you for breakfast. That comma probably shouldn't be there. Oh, I get it. Let's get money from these guys. Ah, you're a genius. Kobolds have attacked you. I probably would have had this attack anyway, even if I hadn't deliberately hit that fight. gold, 80 XP, we don't level up again, but we have enough points now that when I go back to town, we can rest up and level up. Damn, we'll remember this. Next time we meet, you're not leaving alive. Well, I just killed you, so it's rather impressive. Kobolds ran off with their tails between their legs. Probably literally because they're kobolds, and these are canine style kobolds, as opposed to DD 3rd edition onwards reptilian kobolds. A brief lesson on leveling up. Those who reach required XP, the status panel on the bottom of the screen will illuminate. When status panel illuminates, try staying at the lodge. After you stay at the lodge, you should be able to notice that your characters have leveled up. Explore the area, this area, and then get back to town. Oh, and shoulder buttons, sidestep. up and we'll probably get some XP and, we'll and I forget if in this game leveling up restores your uh, hit points to max. Let's go level up. I haven't seen you before. Are you in town to look for the secret treasures of the lever? I have an hmm. I'll say I have an interest in the lever. Flash, many adventures have been attracted to the library. Because there were sacred treasures hidden deep inside. There's a rumor that whoever's able to get those treasures will be granted any wish. Yeah, but this is wizardry, an a series inspired by first edition of the Dragon, which encouraged player GMs to be rather fishy with their wishes, shall we say. If Queen Isn't Good the Lever from her own greed, I'd be very disappointed. Many adventurers have lost their lives searching for Lever. The, queen, the, prince, the princess looked uncertain. She was dissatisfied with the Queen's scheme. I don't think the treasures are worth anyone's life. If it gets too dangerous to the Lever, I would recommend coming back to rest. Sleep will prevent you from getting ill. It is the best way to heal your body. Sleep will also help you to develop attributes. The famous sorcerer once said, We develop while we sleep because we make the god in our dreams. So we need the god in life. I think it was a, a priest or a bishop who said that than a sorcerer, but anyway. If you die, you'll never be able to reach your goal. Because people who people die when they are killed. Listen, <sighs> find your soul to develop your abilities. And you're ready to level up. Ah, so we're not doing the thing of, from earlier games of, um, 
different tiers of uh, rooms you can stay in. Other Wizardry, earlier Wizardry games and Wizardry clones had different levels of room where based on how much they cost, they had different benefits like how much physical healing you receive. Alright. Durgan levels up, and... All his attributes boost. Card levels up. All his attributes go up. Good. Yo! Levels up. All his attributes go up. Good. In other wizardry games, sometimes there's a possibility that some of your attributes will go down. And as you notice here, we've seen two warriors here. Different classes level up at different rates, much like as first edition Dungeons and first and second edition Dungeons and Dragons did. Once you hit third edition D&D, um, your character, um, everyone levels up at the same rate. Points-based systems that aren't like D&D, like GURPS or Savage Worlds, it all depends more. You, got, you get to build points at certain points based on number of sessions or how the GM rolls with things, and that determines how many points you get to level up with. Alright, and... So let's get to the other catch here, which is... Um, with this, though, is... When you have the different levels of rooms you can stay in, it means you have options for, um... I'll let up a second. Let me heal this cutscene real quick. You have different options for, um... Well, rather different options for rooms to stay in. It makes it easier to save up money for major purchases. In the midst of a song like prayer, a group of adventurers kneeled with their heads bowed. As the prayer became more intense, a warm ray of light filled the room. The ashes on the altar slowly formed the shape of a man. After opening his eyes, he sat up with a confused look. The adventurers let out a holler of joy and embraced the man. Warrior, you fool! Don't you dare try something like that again! You're lucky you were able to be resurrected! If you fail, you would have been gone forever! Yeah, that's right. Of course I like the tracers, but you're, but you're more important than that. It's with a bashful smile as he heard his comrades' words. Welcome to Salem Temple, we pure welcome you with open arms. I think that we need healing right now. But yeah, basically, this is how re Resurrection works here, the context of D&D First Edition, and First and, and Second Edition, where there's a chance Resurrection would not work based on your constitution and other factors. Um, well, there was Raised Dead and Resurrection, but the context is still the same. So we've met two possible further characters here. Um, we may be able to pick up. Can't recruit them yet. And we still haven't picked up any new quests yet. Right. Now we go back to the dungeon.